What's good everybody, it's your boy Jason Flax for here, and it's finally time. We are finally actually doing this for Genshin Impact. We're not talking about the game, even though I was very confused about what the hell was happening with We Will Be Re Reunited Mission. I was very confused until I looked up exactly what's happening. I know it's happening now, and I feel kind of concerned. So, Mihoyo, you scared the hell out of me right now. But that's not what we're talking about, nor are we talking about the new update of whatever is going to happen in that update with Zhongli. So, nah, not that yet. But we are going to be talking about the waifus because it's, it's been a long time coming, honestly. And I was going to break down this list with Mondstadt and then Liyue, but I don't want to do that. I just kind of want to go all over the place. So without any further ado, let's get it going. So the first one we're talking about is the Tan Nagatoro Shinyan. Like, let, let's be let's let's be completely honest right now. She is so underutilized in everybody's game. Like, she's probably like, the most underused character in the entire game. Why though? Like, she she looks good. Like, she she got a nice personality. I I personally like Shinyan. She knows she knows a good amount of stuff. When it comes to fighting, you know, rock music, and she actually knows how to season food, like unlike any other white person that makes chicken. Like I like you white people, I really do, y'all. We are cool, we are best friends. But like, I'm not gonna lie, do not try to season chicken. Lay that to black folk. <laughs> but yeah, even because she even has this line in the game where she's talking about seasoning stuff, which absolutely made me laugh. Not that I'm picky. But I can't stand bland food. If it's supposed to be salty or spicy, make it salty or spicy. You can't have a good time if you don't go all in on the flavor. Even if all I had on hand were enough ingredients for one serving of jewelry soup, I'd make sure I'd do right by them. But besides all that, Shinyan, I like Shinyan's design. She looks really nice, you know? Like, I know in the game, a lot of people say they get scared of her because how, well, well at least her, the kids get scared of her because, you know, she looks kind of terrifying and different because of how spiky, I guess, her hair is and how weird she looks in some sort of way. Even though I would just be like, hey, yo, what's popping, Shinyan? What, what, what's, go what's going on? What's... What what's how music are you working on? Can I join in? Can I beat all the drums, please? So you know, I mean, I don't really see why people, you know, may not want to like Shin Yen, but Shin Yen is goaded and clean as freak. And honestly, she's a really good tan. She is a really good tan, like 100%. So when it comes down to it, honestly, we need more love for Shin Yen. Shin Yen has don't even have that much content, and it's kind of it bums me out that she doesn't have that much content. It's just like, why? Why, why do you not give Shin Yen your time? Shin Yen has to get like 8 out of 10, personally. She ain't the best, but she is a very underutilized, and I feel like a lot more people are lacking on Shin Yen. Give Shin Yen some better treatment, please. Your Shin Yen needs you. Anyway, next up we have is Lumine. Da 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 or Lumine, or Lemonade, or however the hell you want to say her name. Which, honestly, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but 10 out of 10. I have to give Shin Yen a 10 out of 10. First, I mean, I have to give Lumine a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I give Lumine a 10 out of 10. Like, no, like, and I know because it's like, well, how? Because she's like the enemy in like the main story, right? In the canon story, right? Yes, that's true. However, in my game, she's my traveler, so I get to play with Lumine, and Ether's the bad guy. So you know what? Lumine gets the 10 out of 10! That, so you know, just, just that's just for me, personally. And honestly, since she's about to get a lot of elements and different powers and stuff throughout the game, I'm all down for that because she's gonna be way more powerful and way more, have way more stuff to do than any other character in the game, personally. Plus, she is your main girl, plus I don't really mind Lumine, and I might just have a thing for main girls in anime and games, so that, that just might be me, but personally, Lumine is just sexy too. I mean, let, let's be honest, and since it's confirmed that she's over 500 years old, like, and even though I really don't care even if that wasn't the case, but still, 
even though she's like five even now she's like 500 years old and that's completely confirmed by the game itself i will totally go out of my way to protect lumine right and then when some traveling is over and when the night when we're under the night sky i'm totally clapping lumine's cheeks i don't care that is that's just me personally so as for lumine goes i really think a lot of things on her is sexy and to be completely honest she's strong as hell so you know what she can have a 10 out of 10. lisa and Y'all might get mad for this one. But honestly, Lisa to me personally, she's like a five. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I think Lisa is fine. Like, she's she's sexy, right? Like, she she absolutely deserves and if we're talking about just straight up sex appeal. Lisa's like a freaking 10. But like, honestly it's just her character is kind of boring i just don't care like all she i mean yeah like yeah she's a sexy librarian aura aura and all that you know like that's cool but like you know how many characters we've seen that is like that in many different shows and stuff like i i, I like my aura aura women i like that but like come come on bro like we can't y'all be a little bit creative when it comes to lisa's personality except for being a lazy ass librarian person and then get strict on you and when you don't return the damn book in time like but like, i like lisa she's okay at best she's okay but like personally i i just don't really care for lisa like that honestly it it, it just lisa's not for me like I, I again i think she's sexy to an absolute top tier level but i just don't care for the personality the personality has to carry it honestly it just it, it, it just it just lasts if she has something more to do maybe i would care maybe when we get a hangout event maybe i'll care but or not nah nah we good noelle 10 out of 10 now let me be clear with you noelle is a maid this might be just a bit biased but i love maid girls in anime or in fiction because they are the most lit ones you see may rin from black butler she's fire with no glasses on she, I mean, she still, she can still get it with the glasses on, but when she take them off, it's like a whole different ballpark. Like, you know, Mei Ren can absolutely get it. So, and when we look at Noelle, I mean, what's there to hate about Noelle? I mean, like, Noelle is just perfect in everything. Like, she's strong as freak. She does everything she's supposed to, you know? I mean, she is a little bit obsessed with the Knights of Havonia stuff, but like, you know, that's fine. I can work that into my schedule, but like, come on, Noelle is just a, she's perfect. She's everything you need, everything you want to have when it comes to a maid waifu, you know? She does everything for you, she'll protect you, so she'll serve you food, and I'm pretty sure if you get to know her well, she'll probably bathe you at some time. So you know what? I'm absolutely fine with Noelle. I need Noelle, and I'm happy we're getting another hangout event with Noelle. So you know what? Noelle is a straight up 10 out of 10. Her design is a flawless and beautiful and we need more people that is just as sexy and cute as noelle bingo i'm done and the last one we're gonna talk about is rosaria <sighs> pray not for the gods nor the betterment of others but for yourself nine out of ten i want to give her a ten but she has that cold ass personality that just kind of like fudge also i don't have rosaria in my game so that's some utter bs so you know uh, with rosaria I, I i really shouldn't but she's too dang tempting honestly especially with what mihoyo try to do you know trying to make her bounce a little bit make her thick you know create putting together all the stuff that i actually want you know like and she doesn't even go and the greatest thing about her is she doesn't even go aura aura she's not that type of lady she will actually give you a stava stava before she give you that aura aura you know so you know i'm absolutely perfectly fine with rosaria plus she's a nun but not really a nun so you know it's some unholy nun booty that you can just go into so you know what i'm absolutely fine with that rosaria probably is the thickest waifu in the game anyway too so you know you, you got options with rosaria it's, it's perfect with rosaria so when it comes to rosaria and when it comes to her sexiness even though she gives you the cold shoulder 
even though she uses that cold shoulder, she doesn't mind to help your ass out if he ever needed it. So you know what? Rosario can keep the 9 out of 10. Sexy, cold shoulder, a spreak sundere, maybe, possibly. And you know, we need, we need more Rosario. Give us a hangout with Rosario. That, that is absolutely needed. And that is all the waifus that we're going to list down in this video. So this is part one of Genshin Impact Rate the Waifu. So we're going to do more, obviously. So hopefully you do enjoy this one. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. Also, follow me on Twitter to talk. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, Cash App is available as well. And until then, this is your boy Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day.